We have seen the user interface for computers evolve rapidly since IBM punch cards became the dominant input and output medium for computers all the way back in the 60s. But if you fast forward to the 2020s, we see a world that's dominated by two UIs, point and click alongside typing for the computer and then touch and swipe for the smartphone. And although voice assistants made a claim for becoming the next UI, they have ultimately fallen short with user expectations. But can voice still ultimately be next in the evolution of user interfaces? Let's explore that question by looking at the overall evolution of user interfaces. Punched cards, graphical user interfaces, and touchscreens. As mentioned, IBM punch cards became the dominant input and output medium in the 60s. Decades later came typing, with projects starting at MIT, followed later by popular projects like the Apple II featuring a built-in keyboard. This was followed by the graphical UI and mouse, which really exploded with the launch of Windows 3 in 1990, which had nearly a 40-year run before touchscreens entered the mainstream with the iPhone launch in 2007. This was despite projects starting around touchscreens all the way back in the 1960s as well with Eric Johnson, originally interested in touchscreen use cases for air traffic control. I think it's interesting to see that consistently across the evolution of user interfaces, it took years for there to be a clear shift between UIs, and this is despite projects starting many years earlier. And now in the 2020s, we have parallel dominant UIs, point and click alongside typing for the computer and touch and swipe on the smartphone. Voice UI as the next evolution? 30 years ago, Nuance debuted the Dragon Dictation System. And this type of technology eventually wound up in enterprise call centers, law enforcement, hospitals, and even automobiles within a decade. However, voice UIs never quite expanded beyond those verticals to become an expected feature in other professional or consumer scenarios. But then came 2011 and the introduction of Siri on the Apple iPhone, which rebuilt hype around voice technology. This new voice assistant category was seen as the next UI evolution. Siri, and then later its competitors like Google and Samsung, promised a very human-like interaction when handling user requests. That proved to be a promise that big tech could not keep. Complaints about how the voice assistants did not work ultimately created a stigma around the solutions that took many years to shed. Voice UIs as a feature. Responding to consumer criticism, the leading smartphone companies focused their attention on voice enabling key command and control features like initiating a phone call, setting a calendar appointment, and asking for directions. These narrowly defined use cases proved far easier to execute consistently and ultimately began rebuilding consumer confidence in voice as a reliable user interface. Everything was going well until Amazon's introduction of Alexa in 2014 and then Google's alternative two years later, which remuddied the waters. Alexa was introduced to support an entirely new device that did not have a screen and it needed to try and be more capable and conversational because there was no screen to fall back on when the user became stuck. And Google Assistant followed in their footsteps and also decided to employ the same conversational UI for their smart speakers and Android-based smartphones. Despite another round of bold promises for human-like conversational experiences and encouragement of third parties to build these experiences, consumers use the features that provide the most value consistently. And these are simple request and response interactions. On smart speakers, users want to predominantly search for music, ask for simple questions, check the weather, or set some sort of timer or alarm. And there is a similar theme with smartphones where the top use cases are asking questions, placing a phone call, sending a text, getting directions, or setting some sort of timer and alarm. Solving user problems with voice. Even though consumers were clearly showing the technology providers what they wanted, the voice assistant stack was built to support far greater flexibility than was required. Voice assistants have been over-engineered for the tasks consumers want to accomplish. The logical evolution from click and touch is to a much simpler voice UI solution that helps users actually find the information they need and complete their intended tasks more efficiently, rather than making voice into a new channel or platform. The ability to support natural language input and accurately identify user intent was the critical innovation. Multi-turn conversations turned out to be superfluous. If you would like to learn more about the Speechly outlook on voice user interfaces as a feature versus the conversational model found with voice assistants, 
consider downloading our white paper on voice UIs as a feature versus conversational voice UIs in the description below. Thank you.